Yo, 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 what's going on? It's Shane187 kicking it with you because you're kicking with me. And we got our young Heather here. She is, um, she's made me a believer. I'm a believer of Q. I've uh, come around. She's laid the evidence down. She speaks very articulate. She's made me into a believer. I think Q may be real. Let's have a look. For you because I don't have a script or anything like that. I just got to speak from my heart. So back in May 2020, I would think probably May the 4th, read in synchronicity. But May the 4th be with you, young Heather, in your journey. Bashar came through channeling through a man named Alan. Bashar came channeling through a man named Alan. And uh, contacted me and did uh, a couple interviews confirming that I'm Q, I'm JFK Jr., an ancient bloodline, a hidden treasury called me. I wasn't even aware of Q. I had been posting all of this Q information and being He might have um, said that you're cute. Maybe he said that you're cute. Tortured in the spiritual realm, being tortured in the physical realm by my husband, who, who's... This guy might have been hitting on you. Maybe you might have said... You're cute. Not your cute. His whole meter seemed to be turned all the way up as soon as I started speaking truth. Well, that's not on, mate. You, when the woman's speaking truth, you don't turn your asshole meter all the way up. All right, because this woman is Q. She's discovered this. This man named Bashar may or may have not done a remote viewing and interviewed your wife and came to the realization and the determination that she is Q. So you cannot turn your asshole meter up when the woman is talking. And she may be Q or she may be cute. Either way. He did the interview. We posted it in a bunch of groups. I even showed it to my husband. He wouldn't even watch it. All of these years, I've been trying to wake him up for years. He would not. I said, a man who I know, who I had been watching through Daryl Anka channeling. I knew I could tell it was him. He sounds just like him. He says, all right, all right, all the time. Says, good day. And he used, and he does the Annie Illuminati hand sign, that spear, tip of the spear hand sign. And my husband, Lucifer, wouldn't even watch it. And he like made fun of me. He says, he's making fun of you. I said, I said, I think it's just his personality. But the thing was, he's telling. You can't call the man Lucifer. All right. He might've turned his asshole meter all the way up, but you can't call the man Lucifer. He ain't that bad. Come on. All right. You've got a divorce now. You should leave separate lives and you should be happy. But you can't call him Lucifer. Well, maybe she can. I don't know how bad he was. He did turn the asshole meter all the way up, so maybe that's it. He's telling me about Q, he's telling me I'm Q, and I'm wondering, and I go and I look, and I'm like, how the hell, who are all these Q people if they didn't even know me? Anyway, right after that, my husband and I split up. I went to a hotel, like I said in the last video, Peach Bottom, <coughs> and here comes, I guess it was Sean Stone, I was talking to a man... Uh, named Solo Man, not talking, texting. My son plays um, Fortnite, and I swear he watches a guy that plays Fortnite called Solo Man. Maybe that's him. So it's good. It's good you're playing Fortnite. It's a really good. Named Solo Man, I heard Wano Savin voice outside. I said, is that your voice? He says, yes, that's my voice. I walked outside. There was nobody there. And then here comes, I guess it was Sean Stone. I so first of all, you heard a voice outside. So you texted this person. You said, is that your voice? He texted back and he said, yes, it's my voice. And then you went to the door to check if anyone was out there and there was no one there. So don't you think maybe by the time you typed out their messages, the person may have walked off. Therefore, there was no one outside the door. And this person has just led you on to believe that he's 
107. We have, um, there are millions of Americans, um, uh, almost all white, almost all Republicans, who somehow need to be deprogrammed. They're, it, it, it's as if they, build, they, they, they are members of a cult, the Trumpist cult, uh, and, and who have to be deprogrammed. Do you have any idea how we, <laughs> go, how we start that process, even, much less complete it? Yeah, I, I, I don't. I'm a journalist. I certainly um, don't know how we can stop people. I know we can look to his enforcement, right? There has to be consequences. Uh, and then once you get those consequences, I think then people have to take a second look at their actions and they have to be much more uh, afraid.